Hello everyone. Today we're going to take a look at some object oriented programming in Python. What I have on the screen here is some basic boilerplate code that we went over in previous videos. Similar, not exact. Uh, so I'll just give a quick brief overview of what you see on the screen here and then we'll jump into default parameters and properties. That's the focus of this video. So to set ourselves up for looking at those two concepts, we're going to work with some of this code that we have in front of us right here. Right now we have a character class, so some type of character in a video game or a card game maybe. I have a simple constructor here ready to store two pieces of information, the health of this character and the name of this character. Then I have two basic method calls class methods associated with the character. So they spit out two print statements here, the name of the character attacks, the name of the character defends when we call those two methods. And down here we have a main function, which is gonna run our code, test our class, and see if everything's working right. So all it does is create the class, and then we use that object to run these two methods. Perfect, so that's our setup here. And now the first thing we wanna look at is adding a default parameter. So we have no way right now to modify this health variable. We have a hard-coded value of 100 going into this, this class variable underneath the character class. And we want a way to modify it. So we're gonna add a default parameter. So the typical way we add a parameter is by putting it right here. But you can see down here, we're getting an error, which says parameter health unfilled. So what that's telling us is that we need to put this parameter. We have no choice. The compiler won't let us run our code without it. So what we would need to do is put this value right here. And now we don't get an error. Python's happy, code will run. But what if I want to leave this blank. Maybe I don't want to have too much. Uh, I don't want my code to be too verbose. I don't want to add too much that I don't need to. And let's just say that the most common circumstance would be health 100. So we can put a default parameter, which is what this equal sign 100 does up here. And now I believe the order of default parameters matters. So if I were to remove that for some reason and I put name by default is just name. Uh, we're going to get an error here because we need to put our default parameters on the back side here. So my in front need to be the parameters that I'm taking in and then I can only put default parameters in the back. So that's one little detail that you should keep in mind when you start using default parameters. They need to be the end of my parameter list. They can't be at the front. You see how name is the first comma separated value and then we have health. So that's one important detail when you're using uh, default parameters like this. But uh, it's pretty nice when you have that. And if you ever need to, you can also just, you can also just change that value of health to be whatever you want it to be. So here I'm overriding the default parameter. Health would be 105 in this circumstance. So we can print the character health here to uh, emphasize the differences between the two. So here we printed 105 because that's what came in here. If I delete 105 here, you can see we get 100 on the right over there. So it's using the default parameter if there's no second parameter. If I don't put comma and then add a second argument, we do not see, we do not see any problems that would typically cause a problem. Uh, you'll notice here that I have a little squiggly uh, yellowish underline. What this, what Python's telling us here is we have access to a protected member. So Python lets you do this, but other programming languages typically wouldn't let you do this. So here we're jumping into our next concept here. We're going to work with properties. So protected member, these are class members. These are these two pieces of information, the class variables are supposed to be accessed, uh, read 
and in a specific, uh, there's a specific way you're supposed to do that. So that's what we're going to cover right now. And Python's letting us know that while, yes, we are able to access it, um, it's giving us a warning because this is typically not the way you would want to do it. And here it's even mentioning add property for the field. So if we did this, we would get a PyCharm will help us out quite a bit and write the code that we want for it. And this is exactly what we would need. I'm going to move it above my, uh, I'm going to move it above my methods. It's a little bit better to have it located near your constructor just for, uh, uh, it's easy to see, and it's kind of a standard that you'll see. It's kind of common. It's not required. Uh, and it looks very similar to a method. So this property value is very similar to a method, and that reduced our error. You can see the PyCharm corrected our code. It took away that underscore. You'll notice there's an underscore. That's the key difference here. These, this variable has an underscore, but down here they removed the underscore. If I put the underscore back, we get that same error because we're directly accessing the variable through here. But if I remove that underscore, now we're actually running here what appears to be this method, this property, this property call, property attribute. And all it does is return the value. So it, it, it acts very similar to a method. And that's how we can pull the information out of character health. So now we don't get that error anymore and we are using encapsulation is that big keyword that you'll hear um, in your computer science classes. The keyword property uh, or properties doing the encapsulation. It's, it's protecting your code, um, which is why you'll see that it actually says protected method here. It's so that People aren't pulling data out of the class that they're not supposed to at a time that they're not supposed to. This is your way of providing permission from a programmer's perspective. And then the last thing we want to do here, we want to uh, we want a way to change the health variable. So um, one way we might do it. So let's say during uh, during our defend we actually want to add to the health variable here. So you can see here, uh, we're missing that property. Uh, create property is an option here in PyCharm, another nice helpful uh, step it'll give us, but property health cannot be set. So right now we have no way to actually set this property. And if I did with the, if I did the underscore here, directly access the variable, this is acceptable. But by adding a property, uh, we also make it so that we can change it down here. So if I wanted to change character health plus equals five down here, maybe outside of the class, right? Inside the class, it's okay to work with this class variable, but the typical way to work with this variable outside of the class, meaning outside of the scope block here, Right, we make the class, but we're gonna run, we're gonna use that class outside of, of this area, outside of this scope block here. We're gonna use that character class. We're gonna create objects and we're gonna use the object. The proper way to modify this variable would be creating that property. At, so you can see here, it's actually giving us that heads up. And if I use the underscore down here, we get that same error that we saw earlier, protected variable. You're not supposed to use this variable. You're supposed outside of the class itself. It's okay to use it inside if you're following proper norms here. You can see name here. It's fine to use the class variable directly here, but to use it outside, you want to use these property methods. So let's, let's go ahead and remove that underscore and uh, we'll use the auto population tool that that uh, PyCharm gives us here. And you can see it creates this nice starting boilerplate right here. I just want to add one little detail here. Actually, no, we don't, we don't need that. So for now, we can just look at how this code runs. So it's very similar to a method, 
uh, we're gonna we dot health except it doesn't have the parentheses so that's the one difference here right we don't have the parentheses but here this code will run when I try to update this variable when I try to update this health variable and it's gonna update this variable here because the parameter that comes in so whether I add subtract multiply whatever I'm doing to the health variable uh, that's going to come in and that's going to update our class health variable here that's going to update this code uh, so we can see that and now I can use the regular uh, it would, it's a little bit cleaner to not use the class variable once you have the health setter so now we'll get to see this health variable will be updated here. Uh, so let's run our code. Oh, and I forgot to add one more thing. We're going to display the health of our character here. We're going to display the health and we can see the health uh, be updated here. So we have uh, health 100 and then after the defend function runs we are updating this going through the health setter so if we put a debugger point you'd see this is the way that our self underscore health and the underscores are very common convention for saying that data is protected so that data isn't supposed to be directly accessed you're supposed to access it through these properties and we can play with the health variable a little bit here using our default parameter once again. Now, instead of 100 going into health, we're going to have 105. So we'll see 105, 110 down here. Great. So that is a quick summary, a quick walkthrough of using both default parameters and property fields. I hope that was helpful for you. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.